The Islamic Revolution was just a few months shy of its second anniversary when Iranians reluctantly got involved in an imposed war with next-door neighbor Iraq. The battlefield's front line was the Iranian city of Khurram Shah in Khuzestan province. Despite that dark chapter in Khuzestan's history, the people there have chosen to shed more light on the bright side. The word's free in Arvand free zone is purely related to business and trade. But for the people of this region, and I mean Abadan, Khurram Shah, and Minu Island, the word free has a very strong and deep connotation. Hadi, who's a young and famous local photographer, brought me here to the Museum of War in Khurram Shah. Every corner of this place visually tells you the stories of struggle and resistance. It tells you the stories of brave men and women who strongly stood against foreign enemies. So we can be free today. During Iran-Iraq war, when Khurram Shah was recaptured by Iranian forces, this is the sign that you could have seen at the entrance of the city. Welcome to Khurram Shah, population 36 million. <laughs> Amazing, huh? 36 million for a small town? But this is exactly how Iranians feel about Khurram Shah. The city belongs to everyone, and everyone belongs to Khurram Shah. آثاری است که ما از باقی مانده 8 سال دفاع مقدس ما در این منطقه داریم و جالب این هست که امروزه این کانون این کانون ها مورد استقبال و دیدار بسیاری از گردشگران عراقی هم قرار می گیره. A picture is worth a thousand words. Especially if this picture was taken by a local photographer and is showing the life of people of this region during the war. 27 years after the end of the war, Hadi is following the footsteps of his fellow Khuzestani photographers. He takes his camera to every corner of his hometown to picture the peaceful and beautiful life of the people of this part of Khuzestan. Shalhe Imam Hassan is a beautiful village just a few kilometers outside of Abadan. A simple and peaceful village life and amazing hospitality, which Iranian Arabs are known for. Haji's daughter-in-law is preparing the fish by covering it with a special paste made of spices, local herbs, and tamarind. This is truly the catch of the day. On the other side, Haji himself is piling up with sticks and palm leaves to make fire and grill the fish. Fish and in general seafood is an inseparable part of local cuisines in the south of Iran, and especially Khuzestan province. Hajjan family belongs to the Bani Mansur tribe, and their ancestors moved to this village hundreds of years ago. Haji was a Dao captain for many years. He knows every corner of the Persian Gulf like the palm of his hand. Haji is a very wise man, and he's one of the elders of his tribe, a go-to person for any tribal issue or any support needed by other members of their tribe. This arch-shaped lounge made of bamboos and palm leaves is called Muzif. It belongs to Haj Abdullah and it's located in Minu Island, a place for special tribal meetings and socializing. Every ceremony starts with drinking Arabic coffee. This special coffee has to be brewed on a charcoal grill in a special pot called Dalle. Everybody drinks from the same cup and you get refills until you shake your empty cup and it means enough. The ceremony continues with recitation of Arabic poems. It is important to know that poetry and literature have a special place in Arabic culture, 
and Iranian Arabs are very proud of them. It was very difficult for me to understand what exactly they were saying, but I really enjoyed the rhythm and the energy of the poets. The ceremony ended up with awesome and sweet-sounding Arabian Oud music. Don't forget that in Arabic culture, Oud is considered to be the king of instruments. The day is over and I am mesmerized by the richness of this culture, how peaceful these people are and how amazing this land is. Shahriyar Azimi for Iran.